What's up guys, welcome back to Biopilot Arms. Today we are finally out here at DFW Gun Coatings out in Garland, Texas to do the Tac Pack uh, build. We're starting it today. We're gonna do the Cerakoting. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys that whole process, uh, start to finish, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and build it out. I can't show you that part because YouTube has rules about building guns, but I can show you the Cerakote process and then I can show you the finish thing. And then of course we'll have another video where we take it out to the range. Um, I did make one alteration to the build. However, I am not doing a AR pistol like I originally was. Um, for a couple reasons. One, because the handguard is a 15 inch handguard and all of the barrels are like 10 and a half and I really don't want to go to the range and you know hurt myself uh, doing that because I know myself well enough that will probably happen. But also it looked really, really, really weird. Uh, and of course with all of the controversy surrounding AR pistols right now, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and do a rifle. But the other reason is I have more parts that TACPAC sent me that are fit to go on a rifle such as a stock. I can't put a stock on a pistol, so I decided to do the rifle build. But I am gonna be Cerakoting it all the same colors that you guys voted for and putting all of the same attachments that you guys voted for. So that hasn't changed. Anyway guys, uh, let's go ahead and go inside. So, you know, you don't ever want to video, you don't ever want to sandblast inside the barrel. Mm -hmm. So we use barrel plugs and plug it up. And then on the end, we use a 556 five, plug. Wait, wrong one. Uh, let me go with a black one. Okay, now we're gonna sandblast it like this, and then this will come off, obviously. But then we'll take it and hang this up when we spray it. All right, so we're going to take all of this, the barrel, the handguard, the upper, the lower. We're leaving black because it's already black. The buttstock and the buffer tube are going to be pink. And we're going to get all this blasted and get it ready and hung up. And then we'll be back on video. Uh, 120 grit uh, aluminum oxide for that. Um, but it's, all of this will look like this in a few minutes. So this is the uh, sand blaster here. So we've got the barrel plugged again. You don't ever want to sand blast the inside of your rifle barrels. So how do I use this thing? Uh, you put your foot right here on this pedal. On the pedal? Yeah. Oh, that's what does it? Yeah. I expected the sand to like be like really visible. Like oh yeah. Out of well, the, you can you can see it over there, but yeah, not when you're doing something like you know facing it down like this. Yeah, because to me it just looks like you're just blasting air. Yeah, but like oh yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, it's also it's like it's like power washing a driveway. Yeah, where you just like get into it. Right. So how much did this machine cost? This? Yeah. Um, this blast cabinet is like um, eighteen hundred dollars. That's it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Eighteen hundred, huh? I thought this would be like, you know, five, six thousand dollar cabinet or something like that, or more. Mm, well, there are there are blast cabinets that like um, Roman Arms in San Antonio. Uh, Abe, his his blast cabinet was fifteen grand. Jeez. Yeah. But it recycles the sand and cleans it and all that. It does a lot more than mine does. But and I just don't have the room for one of those in my yeah. shop. To it's just to get the the part because this is a polymer. It, you just want to get um, the part ready so that the Cerakote will bind to the product. Right. Okay. So, so lightly, lightly blast that. Right. And then we need to blast this. All right. So we're doing what now? Well, we're gonna 
Now that you got all the parts blasted, okay, we're gonna blow them off. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. And get all the dust off of them. And we're gonna take the plugs out. <laughs> blew that one off. And we want to make sure the barrel is nice and clean inside. making sure you blow out all your little holes on here like on the especially on the lower and you gotta blow that out really good and just make sure that they're free of sand On these little clips yeah so this is kind of how we are you recording mm -hmm. okay this is how we hang up parts you know Cerakote has a really good supply of hangers and hooks and different things like that um, and you can see I've got we've already hung the barrel up and all the parts that we're gonna spray are here the barrel and these sites that are going to be done in uh, USMC red um, so we're going to mix up the product for that real quick it's already been shaken Chris got that taken care of then we're going to mix it up and come back and spray the barrel in these uh, little parts and then we're going to mix up the other color good all right so we use an app it's a mix calculator and it has all the different colors that Cerakote offers and what we do is we're looking for H167 so we come down here, H167, it's right there. And now we're gonna put in our ratio, which is gonna be 18 to one, which is the normal color that certified applicators normally use on most gun parts. What would the other ratios be for? Well, so you can do 24 to one, and that's gonna make it um, more shiny. Mm, um, okay. Or, or you can go down all the way to 12 to 1, and that's just a really flat color. Oh, huh. so, so it, like, just, it affects the, sh the sheen and shine of it? The sheen and okay. the shine, yeah. So huh. this is a pretty sophisticated scale. So we got to delete the weight of the, the beacon. So we put it on and zero it out. And then for what we need, I'm just going to mix up a 10 uh, milliliter amount and that'll be plenty so see when I take this off it changes but I'm gonna mix up a tin on here which well, I'll just do that so this is not mixing by parts now it's mixing by weight is what we're doing so now I'm gonna put in 12.1 which is my coating weight calculate and it tells me I need 0.53 of the catalyst so now we're gonna zero again and I'm gonna dump this in yeah um, until I get to five okay and that's close enough I went over a little bit so we'll be fine on that but so anyway we're gonna use a 150 mesh strainer which are these right up here. That's a 325. There's my one. No, that's my 325. This is my 150 here. So, so now we're going to mix this up. Let me get a rubber glove because of the particulates in the coating. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you, when you pour this out and you'll see it in a minute, but even in this little bit right here, there's going to be parts of the, um, parts of the product that will not go through the screen and ah, that's okay. by that's by design so now we're going to take this 
covered up. Okay. I'll set that aside and use that again. I need to clean my catalyst. And you'll see here, I'm gonna make sure you don't have any dust on it. Hmm. So see, in some, some products, uh, Cerakote products are thicker and some are a little thinner. So that has to do with the, um, so you see that? Yeah. So you can see like there's particles in there, right? Yeah. Well, that's the paint particles. Um, and then what you have left is in the gun. Huh. And that's all clean and ready to spray. So. that you get the tip of the barrel because that's where most people uh, end up missing. And, there too. and there you have it. A sprayed barrel in red. Move around it. The speed is good there. Angle more going up. I see what you mean, because uh, you got to get the... Yeah. The, okay. Well, that's okay. why you do the angles like that. Right. You gotcha. Huh. I don't, I don't think it's too bad for the first time. Well, let's look at it. It's a little... It's a little globby on the ed on one of the edges, but that's not too bad. Well, you know, so you're just using the acetone to clear out the. Yep. Thing. Um, and so see if you are you, you are recording. Mm -hmm. So if you look down inside there, that's where the needle and stuff are, and you got to get that paint out, or when you spray the next color, it'll be that color for mm -hmm. however long until it's gone. So take the fan nozzle out. And then we take the needle tip out because this is where you get a lot of residual paint left. Right. So you don't you don't want that. So you just clean it off. Just clean it off. Yep. <clears throat> oh. I should probably wear gloves, but I hardly ever wear them. But I'm already old, so. <laughs> Seems like such a, <laughs> such a long process. No wonder it takes so long to do like one gun if it's more than one color. Well, and there's there's truth in that, yeah. But um, in these needles, this this sp spray gun, the LPH80 from Cerakote, it's a. These guns are four hundred and fifty dollars, and that needle. If you bend it, that needle is 140 bucks. Jeez. So you have that's, to be very, very careful with them. That's insane. $400 per gun. Jeez. Yeah. Well, we've done our red. We're going to mix up the uh, prison pink. That, it says prison pink. <laughs> yeah. That um, you, some of the viewers requested. So that's what we're going to spray next. Yeah. Approximately. Uh, let's go with the 25. This is gonna be for fun. Oh, dear Lord.
<laughs> right away. Oh yeah. That's so bright. Yeah. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> and sometimes it's advantageous to to take these pieces down and be able to look down inside them instead of them hanging. But it looks like this is all done, right? Yeah. But when you turn it over, you can see how much you missed. So that's why you always have to do a flip and do them both, both ways. You, you'll notice that the lower has been sandblasted and earlier in the video we said that we were going to leave it black but uh we we're only leaving it black because you guys for some reason didn't actually vote on a color for the lower for some reason like you voted on everything else but the lower don't know why so we're just gonna make it a surprise color and uh yeah so but right now we're painting the blue oh that's a nice blue too factory they have robotic arms that they use and most of your manufacturers today gun manufacturers use Cerakote on their guns uh, coming from the factory that's the finish that they use but you know in a shop using a spray gun it, it, it can be difficult to get in and get all the insides like on a hand guard so sometimes you gotta dial, dial your gun down where it's in a, in a different pattern and blow through these cords to make sure that you get a good coating job on it on the inside. All right. Well guys, as you can see, we've got all the parts painted in the different various colors that y'all requested. And now we're gonna put them into the oven and this oven is the heartbeat of my business because it's what really, you know, makes everything turn out good. It's a, it's a Shell Lab um, Cerakote oven and these things are about $9,800 a piece. But they work fantastic for gun parts. And we're going to put it in here for what? Like an one hour. hour. At one 300 hour. degrees? At 300 degrees. All right, so all of the parts are cured. We took them out of the oven and hung them up to uh, uh, cool down a little bit. So these are all the parts. They look pretty good. Uh, looking pretty nice, nice colors, nice colors. Uh, except for when they get put together, they're gonna look ugly as all hell. Thank you, viewers. Uh, but yeah, so that's what it is, we're gonna go ahead and slap this thing together and I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Hey guys, so it is day two at uh, DFW Gun Coatings. We finally have the abomination completed. It is so fucking ugly. So, remember how I said that there was a surprise uh, color? And that's because you guys did not vote on what the lower was gonna be. Y'all voted on everything except the lower for some reason. So we decided we were gonna color it yellow. So this is the completed abomination. This thing is so unbelievably ugly. I, I don't understand why y'all voted for this combination of parts and colors, but <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it doesn't, it's so ugly, but it also doesn't look that bad either. I, it's not the worst, <laughs> but it's also the worst. So. But it's gonna, ugly. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, just test fire it with a blank real quick, just to make sure that the thing works, because this has the, the, the trigger that I got in here, as well as all of the other parts, plus... Uh, this extension with the, all tack parts. Yeah, all the tack parts in here So we're gonna just shoot a blank real quick just to see if it actually shoots or not blank. It is a blank YouTube. Okay a closer It's a blank Show YouTube. color Green so it's crimped But oh just look at the look at the, the release. It's a nice release I am probably going to take this off probably just gonna take it off and put it uh, put it on uh, some other gun, but 
for now it's gonna be on this and I do have to put a castle or a, a locking nut on this later but for now we'll just do it all right ready firing all right nice all right guys so this is the finished disgusting freaking tack pack build that you guys forced me to color but you know i don't i hate it but i don't hate it it's it, you guys tell me in the comments do you guys hate it as much as i think you do why, why did you make me create this why just it's uh it's actually kind of pretty with your it, fingernails it, it kind of is but you know yeah you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna paint all my fingernails each of these colors so when i go to the range it'll just look nice and neat <laughs> <laughs> i'm very tempted to do this there is one more surprise color coming in that oh, yeah. won't be shown until at the range yeah well, well there's another surprise color but it's not going to be until we go to the range but anyway guys Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for voting throughout the year on all of these colors, on all of the attachments and everything for, for this build. Um, this is probably going to stay this way for the rest of eternity. I may take one or two of the more premium items off um, and put you know cheaper stuff into it uh, so that way I can use the premium stuff for you know an actual gun. But uh, I have a feeling that this gun is gonna perform better than my stock guns. But anyway, guys, uh, big shout out and thank you to DFW Gun Coatings. If you live in the DFW area and you want to have a good, you know, Cerakoted gun, even if it's, albeit ugly as all hell, uh, you want good quality, come here. He is located in Garland uh, and he will, he will help you out and take care of your needs. Alrighty, guys, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below and tell me, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you love, hate it? Just tell me in the comments down below. Anyway, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, certified Cerakote application. I don't have to say that. It's right the fuck there. <laughs> Yo, these are terrible. You're going to have to lose that hat, cowboy. Boo.